I'm going to give you a super VIP insider look behind the scenes when we attempt to make the world's biggest Jerome Baker bong. I've made thousands of glass bongs, and what I've learned is to get the proper team assembled to make the magic happen. Jay is the visionary and the composer. The winner of the best glass piece, Drew Baker! A key figure in making all of my high-end work throughout the years has been Charles Lowry. Charles is one of the great masters in the modern glass sculpting movement. He brings a skill level that's unmatched in the medium of glass today. Above and beyond any other factor is a great team. Our state-of-the-art studio, it's a facility that allows us all the tools we need to handle any type of glass bong that anybody's imagination can conjure up. The idea requires process that starts the night before. For this particular piece, we made a series of small Latticino marbles that were based on a uranium glass. We start with pulling the glass in the ancient style from the source. We have a large mass of glass and this requires precision timing from this orchestra. We use the old school technique of blue wrap up top for the signature JB fully worked mouthpiece. Fuming is some of the magic of making the piece happen. When we were just starting out it seemed like everything was fumed. Imagine getting a pipe and after you've smoked through it it seems to change color the more you use it. With a simple gesture, the marbles begin to appear. Lots of people have asked, Jerome, how do you make a bong? Can you teach me how to make a glass bong? I've always had the same answer. Blowing glass is like playing a guitar. Learn the chords, learn the scales, practice and you can play any song you want. In other words, after you've learned to handle the medium, the boundaries are endless. This thing's weighing in at over 60 pounds, fully dressed. It's a bad boy. We had to first place this bad boy in a 900 degree oven for three days before cutting and polishing. What a composition, what an orchestration, and what a blessing to live and work with such a passionate people. The piece to me is more than just a pretty green bong. The piece is a marker, a time capsule of sorts. It's something that represents our time together that beautiful day. It's like an intersection of lives at the time. My favorite part of all this is the experience of the process, making something together. The piece is called Nucleus Bong. The uranium has kind of a metaphor for the radiating of the energy forever. The homage is to Bob Snodgrass. He's given us life. He's given the glass and the medium of glass the art of lamp working life. This is a tribute to the Snodgrass family and the glass making movement of this generation. This bong erected to symbolize a monument and a movement in the art history. This rich culture of glassmakers will stand forever in time.